Australia's Great Barrier Reef is a wonder of the natural world. Yet, it's under threat. Rising sea temperatures attributed to global warming are killing off the corals that give the reef its structure. Adding to the peril is a natural born coral killer. At around 30 inches in diameter, an individual crown of thorns starfish can devour up to 30 square feet of coral in a single year. Which might not sound like much, but when present in vast numbers, the results are catastrophic. And these sea creatures produce more offspring than any other marine organism on Earth. Each female develops over 50 million eggs in a breeding season. From the age of six months, the diet of juvenile starfish is comprised almost entirely of coral. Its characteristic venomous spines protect it from most predators. En masse, they are a force to be reckoned with. Yet, for the reef, there is hope on the horizon an unlikely predator, the giant triton, one of the ocean's largest sea snails. Tritons can measure over a foot and a half from tip to tail. This giant gastropod feeds upon sea cucumbers and sea stars. The crown of thorns starfish seems to be one of its favourite foods. When hunting, the triton uses scent trails to track its prey. But it's not the only one with an acute sense of smell. The starfish senses the approaching threat and attempts to flee. The triton gives chase. It may appear that these creatures are going nowhere fast. But make no mistake, this is an active pursuit. A race to the death. With nowhere to hide, the starfish relies on its venomous spines as a last line of defence. But the starfish's defences offer little deterrent to the persistent predator. Giant tritons have developed a tolerance to the starfish's toxins and their saliva contains a paralysing agent which brings the pursuit to an abrupt halt. Its hard-fought meal is now ready for consumption. It uses a serrated organ known as a radula to lacerate the soft tissue between the starfish's spines, then sucks the life from its paralysed victim, leaving little behind but an empty husk. But, as is the nature of a sea snail, it's in no hurry 